Hi Virgo, welcome to your new love reading for August 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommended reader shout out which goes to Divine Guidance Tarot. Much love and support to her and hopefully, hello, you get a chance to stop by, check her out and show her some love as well. This is intended obviously for a romantic love reading. Just so you know, I mean we are talking about new romantic love, right? All right, Virgo, who is coming your way for new love, Virgo? Hmm, okay, interesting. Got the Page of Pentacles there, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Three of Cups. Hmm. So it looks like there's someone you might be talking to already or you're kind of interested in this person and if, if that's who you're hoping for, um, that's, yeah, it looks like you're already kind of mildly interested in somebody and you're hoping it'll pan out. It is going to actually be that person. <laughs> um, that's interesting. Maybe you know that they feel the same way or that they're attracted to you as, as well. So we got temperance here. That could be Sag, Scorpio, and that's it for the players. So we got pentacles and cups here. Good. Affectionate and grounded and practical. So that's good. Uh, looks like the that you two are both going to be a little bit shy. So whoever you're thinking about that you you kind of making yourself more available to and you're a little bit um, shy with them and they're a little bit shy with you, but their feelings are strong. And it, they could be kind of dealing with a few other people as well, but um, this is someone that's kind of happy-go-lucky, and I, it might be that they're not going to know you're interested unless you say something or unless you kind of take the initiative, like, hey, you know, I don't, I wouldn't even know, but <laughs> God, I can't think of, you know, let's go to the library together or something. I mean, so, you know, but unless you let it be known, like, hey, I've got an extra ticket for such and such or something. Um, I got two pages here, so that's disquiet. So I, it feels like, honestly, it feels like there, it, there's a couple of people, but they're not serious with anybody. They're just kind of keeping things light and happy-go-lucky. But they are interested in you, but because of the other involvement, they're kind of like, I hate to say wishy-washy, but they're not going to be the one to initiate. So it could be, we got the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles too. This could be somebody that... Um, that is it's kind of aside from romance has a lot going on so that might be why you're kind of holding things at bay because um you see that they don't have a lot to offer right now as far as time or being able to do things so and that could also be other than being shy it could also be them um not wanting to initiate because of that because they know their schedule or they know who they're involved with that sort of thing so it, but it this I, honestly this is saying um if you let them know not overbearingly so but i mean we got the page of cups and the knight of cups here so this is someone that might need a little extra nudge they feel the same way but they might need a little extra nudge as far as you know hey i'm i i do like you in that way <laughs> and it looks like uh this is somebody that you Ooh, nice. Three of Cups and Nine of Cups. Okay, so this is, you're going to meet somebody, this is the out and about um, parties with friends, that sort of thing. You're going to meet them through or with friends. They might even be part of your friend circle already. So uh, this, hence the, the nudge, because they're like, really, you and me, really? Like, they, it's just, it's a very kind of sweet, innocent thing. You are both on each other's radar, but they're not going to initiate. If you want this to happen, um, you're going to be the initiator. You're going to have to be the initiator. And the thing is, the re but the thing though is the reason why they're not initiating is because of their full schedule, whether it be their full social schedule or their full work schedule. So just just be aware of that. Could be shyness, but I also think that they kind of don't want to rock the boat with the friendship and kind of, you know, start something that they don't feel they can give their all to. Because I, I think, 
I don't know. We got the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups here. This is somebody that thinks of you in the same way that you're thinking about them, but they do have other things going on and they don't want to ruin the friendship. Pardon me getting some water. Right. So it looks like you're going to keep this at this sort of kind of flirty friendship level for the next couple of months because you're probably aware of their schedule and aware of who they're involved with. So you're like, I'm not, you know, stirring the pot there. I'm going to wait a little bit, which is probably wise because, you know, if you're going to let it be known, it's, you don't want to just hang it out there. You want someone to act on it, right? What's this two of uh, pentacles about? What's this two of pentacles about for Virgo? King of cups. So that could, you could be Pisces, but this would suggest an emotional maturity, which is, you know, always welcome, right? <laughs> we don't want any preschoolers. <laughs> so emotional maturity, yay for that. This is also suggests more kind of doubling down on the fact that you already know who this person is, that they've been on your radar and you have been on theirs for quite some time. Um, but the timing has not been right. So this is somebody you feel an emotional fit with, but you've been holding, both of you actually have been holding your feelings back because the timing isn't right. And we see that again here with the temperance. Just saying. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces, Cancerian, Scorpio. All we need is the, the Queen of Cups to show up, right? What's this Nine of Cups? All right, so that's the three of wands. Okay, so the, uh, there could be distance involved. That could be another thing, the reason why uh, it's not the right time for this yet. But this person really is keeping it kind of light and carefree. The, the thing is, is it could be distance involved. They're kind of shy and they've got a lot on their plate right now. So while you two might be aware that each other is on your radar, you might even think that they're interested in you, they're not gonna do anything about it. And it looks like, what would help would be letting them know how you feel, but at the same time, you're still gonna be waiting for them to kind of wrap up whatever business this is, especially if there's distance. Um, but it looks like you two have an emotional connection already established. And this is someone that is very good at living in the moment and just kind of taking things as they come and gonna be a lot of fun and probably pretty adventurous, but you're gonna have an emotional, but look at all these um, cups here. You're gonna have quite the emotional connection with them. Okay, when you are able to finally be together, but we got temperance and the three of wands. So yeah, not right now is not the right time. All right, anything else for Virgo? Anything else for Virgo? Anything else for Virgo? Huh. Anna. Nice. Okay, so this, uh, <laughs> is, are they, how important is this person to you? My God, I mean, we don't see any here but the, the temperance, but this would suggest that this person is, um, there's quite the emotional connection. They're quite, um, I don't know, you've got some kind of connection to them that, that goes beyond the physical here quite the emotional connection. So whoever this is, you're going to feel, one of the things I think you'll like about them is that they're pretty grounded and more emotionally mature than most. Um, but you do feel a special kinship and connection to them. Hmm. And I don't see a lot of like, I, I think that's what you're looking for. I don't know if you've been through something to where you're just kind of starting to poke your head out of the the cave or whatnot, but this really suits you. Somebody that's kind of your friend first and that you can trust and that you have the emotional connection and you see that there, there's a maturity there and that there's a fairness there. This, this is really suiting you much more so than, you know, finding someone that you find really, really attractive. I think what you're going to find attractive about this person is their emotional maturity and the emotional connection that you have with them. The love's going to grow from there or the, the feelings and the whatnot are going to grow from there. And you already know who this person is. So it's not new per se, just the, the stepping into the relationship spotlight with them would be new. But again, that's gonna have to wait. 
they're shy, they got a lot on their plate, or they might be shy about telling you, um, got a lot on their plate, and it's they wouldn't be able to give the attention they want to this, so in about three months, you know, you're gonna be waiting for a little bit. What else for Virgo? King of Cups again. <laughs> Emotional maturity. Nice. That's, that's yay. Because this is somebody that will have your back. They care. They're, they're just going to be need to be nudged. <laughs> but, but they do. They, there's an emotional maturity about them. And they, again, this would suggest that they're not telling you how they feel yet because of distance, because it's not the right time, because um, they got a lot on their plate. Yeah. What else does Virgo need to know about this person? What does Virgo need to know about this person? Okay, we got temperance again. Temperance and no new start right now. So this is in the beginning stages. We got the pages here and it's gonna stay that way for a couple of months. You will be waiting. Um, they might not voice it yet, but I think you kind of know how they feel. I think you kind of know, you know who I'm talking about and you know that they feel the same way too, but nothing's been done or said about it and you're probably gonna have to be the one to bring it up. They're not, it's a timing thing, might even be a distance thing, but it's timing because they've got a lot going on right now and it looks like they're already part of your friend circle. But now it's not that, this is saying wait, no new start. So there you go. And we got temperance right here as well. So, all right. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What else for? No, because you already know them. Okay, when when would this be the right time? See if we can get some timing here. When would this be the right time? When would this be the right time? So we've got ooh, we're talking about five months here. We've got about five more months to wait for this person. Okay. Looks like that's when they'll finally have all the business wrapped up so that you two can start to, so there is going to be this waiting. So it's like, you know who they are, but you can't do anything yet. Looks like you're okay with that though. You're not in any hurry. So that's, it's not like you're chomping at the bit, which is a good thing because otherwise you wouldn't have time for this and you'd be on your merry way. But it looks like you're content to wait because it does look like you value the emotional connection. Um, I gather you've kind of been through it. So I think that's why you're just starting to poke your head out. So you're kind of fine with this unfolding as it's going to. You're not in any hurry. And yeah, it's not like you're going to have to smack them over the head. It's just that when the time is right, you'll be like, so, you know. Okay, Virgo, I hope this was helpful. And I hope um, it goes smoothly when it's finally time for it to do so. I <laughs> that it has to be five months, but I, I don't think you'll mind waiting. I think you'd rather that than to make some mistakes you've made in the past or have some shenanigans go on. Okay, thank you for stopping by. I wish you luck with this. Happy August. Um, hope to see you in the next reading.